The IOBPT is the insulin-only bionic pancreas trial. It's a pivotal trial. And it was a, a recently completed study that uh, 16 sites in the United States did to test a new insulin delivery device, a new automated insulin delivery device. And it's a large trial that's designed to provide the FDA the data they need to be able to evaluate whether it could be cleared for sale. It was the first trial, I believe, that included both adults and kids in the same trial. The trial enrolled uh, participants from age six on up. It also uh, was the first trial to have hemoglobin A1C as the primary outcome of the study and then had a number of secondary outcomes as well. And that's important because the FDA regards that as the, the gold standard metric for uh, approving clinical efficacy of, of diabetes interventions. It's a little different than other automated insulin delivery devices. Uh, for one thing, it is started differently. A normal uh, hybrid closed loop device would require that you put in an insulin delivery regimen, you know, a, either a basal rate or a total daily dose, usually a carb to insulin ratio, sensitivity factor, some combination of those. This system doesn't require that at all. You just enter the weight of the patient, that gives it an initial idea of the dose scaling, and then it adapts continuously um, and autonomously to find the right insulin dosing for that uh, patient to meet their insulin needs. It doesn't require carbohydrate counting, so when people uh, announce a meal to the device, they just say whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and whether it's a usual size for them, more or less. And the system learns over time what they mean by that and how much insulin is needed, and it tries to give about 75% of the insulin that's needed for that meal. Another way it's different is that the device determines all of the insulin delivered autonomously. It's not possible for the person to determine the size of an insulin dose. So they enter the, the meal size in that qualitative way, the device decides how much insulin to give. All of the correction insulin is given automatically. All the basal is automatically regulated by the device. So literally every single dose of insulin that's given is entirely determined by the device. The trial's been completed now. It was unique in that it was quite a large trial, so there were 440 participants who participated over three months in the randomized part of the study. And the primary outcome was hemoglobin A1C. And we found that the hemoglobin A1C was reduced by an average of 0.5% across the board. And it turned out that when we looked at the subgroups in children and adults that were pre-specified for analysis, they each had about a half a percent reduction in hemoglobin A1C. The key secondary outcome was time less than 54 milligrams per deciliter or level two hypoglycemia. And we found that there was no change in the hypoglycemia compared to the standard of care group. It's, as far as I know, the only system like this that doesn't have a manual mode, which is what you would normally transition to if you were using a hybrid closed loop system.